Hello everyone, you know who I am, but this is Mass Effect 3. So I wanted to start recording this video at the beginning to show my options. I am playing this on hardcore mode, and I will prove it. Give it time, but the uh, main menu, it doesn't really have like a song playing in the background, it's just this like auto or um this kind of background noise of like this booming bass type of thing. So um I tweaked with Shepard a tiny bit, not too terribly much for some reason. It made her eyebrows blonde, even though they've been red, because, you know, I modeled her after Sarah Kerrigan from StarCraft. Um, I haven't actually beaten this game yet, but I have played the vast majority of it. So that way I know what... I, I kind of guessed at some of the decisions. I did some of the... Excuse me, some of the side bits, but not all of them. So I do have a few more surprises headed my way with this. Uh, this game, I will admit... Um, its action is better than Mass Effects 1 and 2. However, it, the RPG elements completely just disappear in this in this particular game. I mean, the Paragon Renegade stuff, it's still there. It's just not as present as it was in Mass Effect 2, which I felt like Mass Effect 2 was the perfect combo of both the combat and the RPG elements. Um, because you can kind of play as either, like, yes, I kind of buy into what Cerberus is saying, where you could basically defy him every step of the way to a certain degree. Um, that in Mass Effect 2, you felt like a rogue-type agent. Like, you could go either way. In Mass Effect 1, you felt too much like a good guy, sort of. Um, this one, it's a bit of what 2 had, but also it tiles back on it a bit. I mean, you could still be a ruthless badass, don't get me wrong. It's just not as engaging as Mass Effect 2 was, which I, I fully agree. Mass Effect 2 was the best of the three. Um, and then Andromeda, of course, is inferior to all three of these games. I would take another Mass Effect 3 and what it has over Andromeda. Not to say Andromeda's a bad game, it's just the worst of a bunch of good games. That's not to say that it's bad. It's still a six or a seven to me. It's slightly above average to being an R. It, it's a good game. It's not broken, it's not terra bad. The dialogue's garbage. Um, as an RPG, it's a terrible game, I'll say that. But as an action shooter, it's a good game. So, uh, Mass Effect 3 as an RPG is... is better than Andromeda. That's about all I can say, is it is better than Andromeda. And I guess to a smaller extent, maybe better than Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1... I don't... I, God, I need to go and look back, but I don't think you had the Renegade slash, uh... Paragon options. Oh, you know, yes, yes, you did. Never mind. Yes, you did. You didn't have the, uh... The uh, little things at the bottom where you know you click the left mouse or the right mouse. So um, I have not, but as I said, I have not completely beaten this game. But I've gotten I want to say like roughly 80 to 85 percent of it done. So what I wanted to do is just get enough of it done to where I can start recording. Um, that way I have like a good long stretch I can work with while I beat the game on another playthrough. So the only thing I'll have to really manage is which one of my um, <clears throat> which one is my like you know progressing forward one and which one is my actual recording which. Excuse me. I plan on keeping the one where it's just me record, or it's just me playing it off screen. I plan on keeping that one way ahead of this one. That way, the two don't get intermixed up. But I've got like, I want to say close to 20 plus hours off of that one. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Like I said, I made a couple of changes and adjustments. We will, of course, be an infiltrator. As far as Reeve. Put the resin on the machine, increase damage, special weapons, parts, effect, warp, ammo. What's Carnage do? Yeah, I think I'll stick with armor piercing ammo. Yeah, they changed the way that armor piercing ammo and uh, disruptor ammo works. Disruptor ammo, it's meant to be more against like biotic shields, and uh, armor piercing is just straight up armor piercing, but it will tear up um, guys that have like shields and stuff. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. 
How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Oh boy, the Reapers are here. Well, let's see how... <clears throat> see how bad they fuck things up for everybody. <laughs> I think we've ever seen any kids in this game before, or in this game series. Yep, uh, Shepard is no longer affiliated with Cerberus. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. I might need to lower the voice volume. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? You, you just it's call her so fat. Bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. I'm certain. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? It's a Linko. How'd it go in there, Major? Who's the Major now? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? Apparently not. No, hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... Well... Ah, it's good to see you, kind of, sort of. That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Caden. Yeah. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. You're the Just Somebody I Used to Know song. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. <laughs> then, how do we stop them? Stop them? 
This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Yeah, survival. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. Oh shit. Moon. They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. I think they've come to avenge Sovereign and their collector pets. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. so much for the mahogany desk. It was a one-of-a-kind piece! Damn those Reapers! Shepard! 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 Come on, get up! Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanko, is that you? What's your status? Well, so much for Alliance leadership. Normandy. You'll have to contact them. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Hand us an out. <clears throat> God, those things are fucking huge. They're massive. Yeah, exactly. They're massive. All right, let me adjust the volume here. I think music was fine. Sound effects. Yeah, I guess we'll just put everything. That should work. No way for me to get rid of that. Apparently not. No, it's just a little tiny green dot. Hell, it's half a green dot. So. Come on, Shepard. Cadence headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the spaceport. Let's move. They're just blowing everything up. Look out! Whoa. How do you stop something so powerful? WMDs, that's how. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Woo! Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Whoa! Come on! We'll have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Bing. Husks! Take him out! Husks, where? There's a little kid down there. Sure. Oh, hello. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. I think I'm out of ammo, too. Holy shit. Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. I have to get over here and punch them. Bonk. And bonk. Don't let him grab you. 
Oh shit. Hell of a day we're having here. Medi Jill. Gotta find a way out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Down you go, scumbag. Through this way. Now her hands were like glitching through each other there for a bit. Hey, it's that kid. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. You know shit. Come on, let me help you. Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. What? Where'd he go? Or was he never there to begin with? Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They get so fast. Ah, I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. Yeah, because nobody would fucking we listen need to, go to the Shepherd. Citadel. Talk to the council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The council has to help us. <sighs> you sure about that? No, but you're a council specter. That has to count for something. At the very least, we can rub it in their faces like, Told you guys! Told you they were coming! Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> yeah. Grab some ammo. Hey, and this game is Reload. Let's keep moving. pretty damn generous with how much ammo it gives you. Like, I don't recall if I complained about Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 3 just... It gives you ammo out the wazoo. God. Ah! Ah! We're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Made it to the Normandy. Taking heavy fire. Oh, God. You gotta take down the dreadnought. Evasive maneuver. Major. Caden. Damn it, they're in trouble. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit, get down. Go. Alright, I forgot to wait a bit. Go invisible. Hannibal. Yeah, based on how the Batarians look, I'd say these are Batarians. Or, well, they were. Shepard, over here! What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. 
There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. To the gunship we go. We're full up on ammo. That's the only gun I have, and we have three medigels. Yeah, at least in this game, you can actually actively use your medigel. Okay, apparently there's a dragon now. What the hell are those things? They were Batarians. Some shit. <laughs> he just falled over. It doesn't help that I have, like, no armor right now. Do that number. Or not. Put the ammo back here. And the ammo here. Down you go, scumbag. Finally, right, there should be, I was gonna say, there should be a gun here. Which they actually give you quite Nobody, a few selections. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major. Major, your voice sounds a little funky. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. No, no, no. Son of a bitch, get over. Yeah, chillin' out, you asshole. Freeze. Well, it was like flickering out there for a bit. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. Running out of ammo. Yeah, we're all running out of ammo. There's more of them. Out of bullets. But I have these. Cavalry has arrived. Oh, well, it's about time. Boom! And they got rid of all that ugly Cerberus <laughs> shit on it. Welcome aboard, Shepard. 
Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? No, you do now. Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Well, see you later, Anderson. Are oh, you dick? That opening, though. Yeah, I get the feeling we're going to be all aboard the field stream for a good chunk of this playthrough. See, that's there's quite a number of things I would actually say I prefer in Mass Effect over what they do in uh, Dragon Age. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Places. Hey, what's up? We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Just did. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm... Stop it, Lieutenant. You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. <laughs> Commander! Joker? That you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Sustained <laughs> heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to... That's our post on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. Only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. 
And what I do like about this game is that we basically end up working for Hackett this directly. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet, but if it helps us win this war, at least in a similar way that gear. that you work for the elusive man in Mass Effect Two, except you and Hackett actually agree with each other <laughs> instead of like this dodgy sort of I don't trust you, I don't quite trust you relationship. Yeah, the Normandy definitely looks better without all the Cerberus crap on it. I wonder how mad uh, the elusive man was at losing the ship. Although I guess he kind of figured he was going to lose it. That, I mean, he does have the blueprints to it, so if he wanted to, he could probably just make another one. I've been trying to reach Mars on secure channels. No one's answering. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. And then, uh, James is one of our new companion dudes. I didn't think I was gonna like him all that much, but as the game progresses, he does grow on me a bit. I like him a little bit more than Jacob. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Okay, let me get my sniper out. We gotta level people up. I'll go with that. Increases shield recharge by delay. Increases melee damage by 75%. Yeah, that one. Yeah, because I rarely use melee attacks. Weapon damage is 20%, go with that. Biotic powers. And the rest I will auto. The main thing I want to get up are their basic stats. that and then similar actually no I definitely want at least the basic level of carnage on the basic two and then the rest could be auto hey damn that's a huge storm looks a lot bigger in person damn. pretty average for Mars actually I'm glad you're so optimistic <laughs> that's average the invading earth the station here is offline a little dust storm seems like the least of our worries very Fair true. Enough. Wonder if we're gonna find uh, the UAC Thank around here. He's Alliance. Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. Sergeant Reeves. Did they break his legs? If so, that was in bad taste. Oh, man. Hello. Holy shit. They're executing them. What do we got here? Oh, it's Cerberus. I know we're here now. Good. Oh, really? Damn it. Give them away my shot, why don't you? Here, have that. Can't wait till I get my next sniper.
I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Down you go. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Yep. They sure look like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. Taking cover! Look out! Bad guys. Oh, oh. shit, shit, shit. No, no, what are you doing, Shepard? Get behind cover. Oh shit, shit, shit. We aren't security. Doesn't look like they came here in force. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from the inside. You could be right. No way they can take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. Shepard, I need a straight answer. Caden... Don't Caden me, this is business. It's just business, you know guys. Do you know why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? <laughs> they worked for me. We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just that... <clears throat> you of all people should know what I'm about, Caden. I do remember reading in a few comment sections about Caden being whiny. Yeah, he... Please he, trust me. He does get I a little do. bit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Oh, yeah, hey, it's Liara. Very nice. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard. Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? On Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. Oh. And we're just now learning about this? We've known about the Archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a Shadow Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the Archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... Okay, so they did—they weren't quite sure at the time, but it's like, okay, the Reapers are here now. It's like, okay, yeah, 
Let's see what this thing can do. I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Hmm. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? Is it the Death the Star? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. Oh, we got company. We got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. That's an order. I would have said Caden personally, but okay. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Excuse you. Don't talk about Liara like that. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Headshot, bitch. You can't hide forever. No, oh, I'm out of bullets. And we shall switch to that. You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. Yeah, we seem to be doing all right, all things considered. Can't just shoot them. Well, they are quite bullet sponges at the moment. And again, this is a very basic weapon. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. Medigel. Give, give. I believe actually I get my sniper on this little stage here. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's got to be another way up. Yeah, there is. Yeah, my first step playing this, I couldn't figure out where the fuck it was. It was actually kind of annoying. I believe, yep, it's this thing right here. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubt it. But I suppose anything's possible. I mean, yeah, you never know. <laughs> the elusive man, anything's possible. Shepard, take cover. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Get over here. Whoa, whoa. That'll teach you. Come on, fuck your head up. Wasn't talking to you, but you'll do. Here, have this. Ha ha! Is there any goodies around here? I don't think there are. Alright, moving on. Quick save. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Uh, continue. Damn it. Security's been tampered with. Oh wait, hold on, nope, I screwed up. I think I did that quick save. Yeah, I definitely need to switch my loadout so I can get that sniper I was talking about. Because I believe it's actually a DLC one. Change. 
change loadout. Yep, there it is, the Indra. And we have no mods. Go with that one. Go with the Eagle. Yeah, I'm not going to bring a submachine gun. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the Pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Kore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? <clears throat> Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. I should probably switch my ammo to armor piercing. So armor piercing is my best friend. I rarely use a disruptor ammo. Oh, hello. We got here. Data pad. This Mika. Micah. Best to see Harrison. The Exogeny Corporation. Uh, Exogeny, that can't be good. Although they've, they've kind of sort of turned a new leaf. That storm's getting close. <laughs> Let me just dive into these pipes. Uh oh. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives once Cerberus is a. Commander, did you read me? Barely. Storm's causing interference. Yeah, tell me about it. I've lost contact with the Normandy. What's your position? I didn't read that, James. Repeat. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. I thought we had to go down that way. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Nope, scientists are dead. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. Just say, when did Cerberus turn into like massive douchebags? Who the hell is that woman messing with my files? Get her out of here. Oh, the feminists! They've come to attack our files! Surprise, motherfuckers! You do that, and you do that. Never knew what hit him. Come on. Not so much for them. Any more ammo to pick up? Nope, but there's some goodies over here. Damn, Shepard, if I didn't know anybody, I'd say you were a smoker. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. I was gonna say, why don't you just keep your helmet on? Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Well, that wasn't very nice. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? 
What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. You really shouldn't. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Do or die isn't much of a choice. So I just keep doing whatever it takes. So practical, but I suppose you're right. We'll stop them. One way or another. I wish I had your confidence. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Okay, quick save, although I think it did an auto-save right then and there. Yeah, whenever there's a cutscene, I think it always switches to, uh... Did I even pick up the goodies over here, or did it just straight up cut to a cutscene? No, I picked everything up. Okay, good. Yeah, seriously, Shepard, like, as soon as you start spreading, you're, like, breathing heavily. <laughs> okay, that looks a bit odd. You do that, you do that. Do I have my... no I don't. Wait, where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you see these schmucks with the shields? Cuts right through them. Oh, headshot. Aiza. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. That was a terrible throw. That's right. Flee, you little bitches. Backtrack here a little bit. Ain't nothing we had over there. God, what's that stench? They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. Eesh. Let's if I remember how to do this. There we go. This is where they studied the various relics on Earth here. Hmm. More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. 
Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. And then, like, she suddenly just catches her breath. Oh, we got another weapon over here. 23 katana. Can you... Anything over here? Nope. Yeah, excuse you, Liar. You kind of just stepped in my way. Oh, hello. Heads up! That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you. Whoa, whoa, crap. Oh, get into cover. Watch it. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, crap. Get, get, get down. Keep Hold on, I got an idea. Keep moving. <clears throat> okay, apparently you can see me. What are you doing? Oh my god, Shepard. You fucking moron. Watch it! The turret can't fire on us from here. Okay, good. God, that was... I hate that bit. I know for some of you it's probably one of the easier ones, but... Not uh, for me. At least I can kill these guys easily enough. At least I killed them easily enough. That's okay, she's used to have run dry. Set up a perimeter. No one else comes across. We still have teams on the other side. No one! Shut down those cameras. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override it? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very... capable. That he has. You mean whiny? I found something. Is it your manhood? Did you find your manhood? What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Whoa. My god. It looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. They've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet. Controlled by the elusive man himself. <laughs> Seriously, dude? In... Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back, the person that I loved, are you still in there? Somewhere. <laughs> that's just, that's all in the past. Me, Caden, or how I feel about you. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. 
I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> Me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Nope, yep, we're gonna have company then. Think they bought it? They didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Oh, are you gonna let me move? Got it. I'm on it. Got it. Right away. Affirmative. Right away. Here they come. Uh, let's see. Do that, and you do that. Quite a few of them. Oh, hello. Motherfucker, really? You missed. There we go. Gotta take my cover from me. Scumbags. And I kind of miss the dramatic screaming from Mass Effect 2. <laughs> like I said, you should have just left your helmets on. Storm's getting bad. We better wrap this up quickly. The archives are right on the other side. That and a squad of angry Cerberus troops. Uh-oh. Oh, good job, Leo. I think I'll just do the whole Mars segment in this first video, so this one will be a bit in terms of length. It should be a wee bitch. As it turns out, that glass is not bulletproof. Ah, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I need help. A little bit low on ammo. Bye, bitch. All right, that takes care of them. Let's go see if there's any ammo I missed. <clears throat> I wonder if we can access this door. Nope. There's some ammo. Betty Jill. More ammo. Uh, continue. Live again. Hello there. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. Oh, did it now. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. <laughs> With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk, Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. Damn it, we were distracted. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Hey, save us, save a lot. Now. Got some funky hair, lady. Yep, Caden flat on his ass. She's faster than she 
Come back here, you. We can't lose her. Yeah, apparently I can't use that. Uh, open the door, Dingleberg. Ow! There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. I got this. Maybe. Watch out! Over there. You go, scumbags. Missed. Down there. James, you read me? <laughs> Cerberus has the data. <laughs> Radio the Normandy. Get them down here now. Shooter! James! Normandy! Anybody! I got this one! Well, I hope that thing's insured. Whoa! Shit! Well, I hope the data wasn't destroyed. Granted, I mean, that's the best he could have done. Normandy's en route. They'll be here soon. We need the data. Ah, she's a Terminator! Hayden! Let him go! Orders? Dispose of him. No! Ooh. Oh, he's wearing a helmet, he'll be fine. Wearing a helmet, he's fine. Grab that thing, bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Yeah, the back of his helmet's not even caved in. Oh, wait, no, that's James. Never mind. What a fantastic start to this game. Earth gets blown up and Kaden gets destroyed. It kind of breaks even when you think about it. Kaden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. Wait, how is the front of his face bruised? See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Shepard, are you reading me? Commander, 
Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Caden's been hurt. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Wait, Admiral's have... right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I was say, where the hell is Dr. Chuck was at? I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. <laughs> I mean, hey, third time's a charm, right? I mean, they didn't believe you about Saren, they didn't believe you about the Reapers existing, and they still didn't believe you about the Reapers existing, and lo and behold, Reapers come about. It is looking nasty. What is it with me starting Mass Effect games in the middle of a goddamn storm? Well, I, I, technically it's not storming yet, but it's it's looking like it. Yeah, if anybody remembers in the, the first video of Mass Effect 2 when Shepard is running through the ship as it's burning, you can hear the thunder clear as day. Like, it surprised me as to how well that was. you guys were able to hear that. Like, I, and it, trust me, I, I will say it again. That shit was stupid loud. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. Let's say We're take him to the with. ER. We need to see the Council. Right. Hey, it's Bailey. He's got hair. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. <laughs> All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Eh, Council first. Meeting with the Council is our top priority. I'll head up to Adina's office now. Meet you there. One of my men can show you the way. You? 
I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. <laughs> I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. All right, see you around, no Bailey. Oh, I see Bailey's moving up in the world. Kind of. All right, well, anyway, folks, I'm going to end this first video here. So I shall see you all next time. And uh, I'm definitely going to do a check on the sound, make sure everything's coming in good, make sure I'm not louder, or, well, I'm not too much louder than the game and that the game isn't, like, overshadowing my voice. Anyway, folks, see you all next time.